Which of the following, if true, most seriously weakens the argument? Now, the argument is that in 1999, consumer complaints went way up, more than double, when you compare that to 1998. Now, there are a couple of other key pieces of information. One is that per 100,000 passengers, now we have a fixed number for both of these, per 100,000 for both years, the number almost doubled for 1999. So this is important because if we had, let's just say 1 million, let me use my scientific notation here, 1 million, in 1999 we had 10 million, then that would easily account for the increase in complaints if you had 9 million more. But what they're doing by giving you this per 100,000 is there, it doesn't matter if there were more. And that's why we can get rid of answer choice B, which is the number of passengers flying on the United States Airlines was significantly higher in 1999. Even if that's true, it's per 100,000, there's still more complaints, double complaints in 1999. Therefore, we need another answer, not B. And if we look at D, it says the appearance in 1999 of many new internet sites that re relay complaints directly to the Department of Transportation has made filling out a complaint about airlines much easier for consumers. So now, well, it's easier for consumers to file a complaint, so they're far more likely to do it. So it's not that performance or customer service has just really, you know, crash landed or tailspin, if you will, bad puns, but rather there's a specific reason why they're getting more complaints. It's a lot easier to fill them, and that is answer choice D.